Moving on, in Nigeria, reporting child abuse cases is often stigmatized with victims unsure of getting justice. A World Health Organization report in 2020 reviews that one in every five women and one in every 13 men have been sexually abused as a child from zero to 17 years. To this end, stakeholders in Lagos held a consultative workshop with the Nigerian police, lawyers, child advocates and NGOs in the administration of the criminal criminal justice system and child abuse cases to see how victims can get justice. Plus TV Fumi Onua Jefe files in this report. In Nigeria, sexual abuse in children is an offence punishable under several sections of Chapter 21 of the Criminal Code. In spite of this, a large number of children sexually abused daily is staggering and shocking to see the list. Handling sexual abuse cases is delicate, and walking across board with all stakeholders is pivotal to get justice for victims. Chachayara Foundation, in partnership with the Rule of Law Anti-Corruption Program, organized a consultative workshop with the police and stakeholders in the criminal justice system. The Ministry of Justice emphasized the need to report cases on time so that due process to conviction can begin quickly. The perspective of the Ministry of Justice is to ensure that cases of sexual offenses and domestic violence are quickly and proactively brought to court and prosecuted. The longer it takes for a case to get to court, the higher the chances of the person being, becoming disinclined to come to court. The police, on the other hand, promised to look into poorly investigated cases and plan more training for its officers. One of the legal counsel uh, said that some of our cases, or some cases are not well investigated. You only see the statement of, the, of one or two statements in the case file. I think that is a different ballgame when it comes to the state CIA. But I understand that at going to the national level, may have issues like this. And I want to assure you that we will take care of that. Uh, we've been organizing training, like I said, with the Ministry of Justice and Rolag. Going down to the national level, we've been inviting uh, divisional crime officers, BPOs, area commanders. So once we have this continuous training, I think we will be able to improve on this uh, aspect uh, you have pointed out. The focus of the workshop, the organizers say, is not only to bring to the fore the ills of society, but to go further to try and nip the scourge in the bird. They insist with fierce determination that the work has only just begun. The Congress is over, but the work has just begun because um, we were opportune to have um, a meeting with the Attorney General, a steering committee has been set up to um, develop and implement a child sexual abuse investigative and interview protocol. We, and the committee will consist of um, stakeholders in the administration of criminal justice sector so as to navigate the way to ensure the best practices of investigating and prosecuting child sexual abuse cases. The use of forensic interviews is helpful, not only in the prosecution of perpetrators, but also for helping the victims not to relieve their trauma over and again. For me, Una Jefe, for Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.